Peter Schiff, the famous Bitcoin skeptic, he recently had his Puerto Rican bank shut down. What am I talking about? Well, Peter came out and he tweeted, despite no evidence of crimes, Puerto Rico regulators closed my bank anyway for net capital issues, rather than allow a sale to a highly qualified buyer, promising to inject capital far in excess of regulatory minimums. As a result, accounts are frozen and customers may lose money. Now, I have no clue what's going on here. I'm not privy to any more details than you are by simply reading his tweets. But what I do know is that Peter Schiff, the skeptic of Bitcoin, is getting a firsthand lesson on how Bitcoin fixes this. Now, Bitcoin fixes this is a meme that's become more and more popular over time. But in this case, it quite literally fixes this. The whole idea of Bitcoin is that it returns sovereignty to the individual holders. If you are an individual who wants to have economic value protected and make sure that you're always in control, Bitcoin gives you that ability. Now, if you go and you put deposits in a traditional bank, of course, it's not your money anymore. The second you make a deposit, it's now the bank's money. They can lend it out and do whatever they want with it. And yes, they do owe it back to you. But just because they owe it to you doesn't mean you'll naturally get it. And Peter Schiff in this situation in Puerto Rico is proving exactly that. Now, I don't necessarily think that people are going to go take 100% of their net worth and go put it in Bitcoin. Actually, I think that that'd be kind of crazy right now. Instead, what I think most people are starting to realize is that Bitcoin and its self-sovereignty allows for a certain portion of their net worth or their portfolio to give them aspects of control that they don't have in the legacy financial system. Peter Schiff, as the Bitcoin skeptic, getting this crash course. You never want to wish bad things on anyone. But I think that we're getting a lesson right here. The Bitcoin and its self-sovereignty is very, very powerful. Now, I wish Peter the best. I think that he'll figure something out. But it's always important to realize that whether we are talking about the Western developed world or we are talking about people in areas of conflict like Ukraine or in countries and societies that are failing like Venezuela or Zimbabwe, there are many people around the world, by some estimations, millions, if not billions, that are understanding the power of Bitcoin and the importance of self-sovereignty. It used to be that you had physical cash. And when you had your physical cash, you were in control of it. Now, Bitcoin is ushering in a new era of that sovereignty in a digital form. And it takes a while for people around the world to understand how the technology works and to realize why it's so valuable. But as we're seeing here, even if you're using a bank in the Western developed nation, there can still be plenty of issues. And so ultimately, Bitcoin, self-sovereignty, and the importance of self-custody sit center stage in this saga. I wish Peter the best and Bitcoin fixes this. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video and see you next time.